why is there more matter than antimatter? That's uh, that's essentially an age-old mystery. So matter, antimatter. What is antimatter? So antimatter particles share the same mass as your regular matter particles, their matter counterparts. But these antimatter particles have qualities that are opposite. Like electric charge is a very good example. So we have subatomic particles like the electron, like the proton, etc. Their antimatter counterparts exist. For the electron, the electron, as you know, is a negatively charged particle. Its antimatter counterpart is the positron, which has the same mass, but it has a positive charge. The proton, as you know, is a positively charged particle. Its antimatter counterpart is the antiproton, antiproton, which has the same mass, but a negative charge. The photon of light is its own antiparticle, and so on and so forth, right? So the very early universe, right after the Big Bang, was pure energy, just pure energy. Now we know from quantum field theory that vacuum is not quite empty. It is teeming with particle-antiparticle pairs. So from because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, that's a whole different story. But these are virtual particle-antiparticle pairs that are formed and they, 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 they recombine very rapidly. So that's vacuum energy, right? So in the very early universe, when you had pure energy, eventually what happened is that it gave rise to incredible amounts of particle-antiparticle pairs with with the relation of e equal to mc squared and these particle antiparticle pairs would form and dissociate and recombine and give back energy again and if you if you look at uh, see whenever we create matter in particle accelerator uh, particle accelerators we typically get and we not typically we always get an equal amount of matter and antimatter right but in the early universe for some reason even though all of these particle-antiparticle pairs should have recombined and just given off pure energy, what happened is that in the very early universe, approximately one particle per billion managed to survive. And there was an ex excess of matter over antimatter for whatever reason. We don't know what it is. Some unknown mechanism or law of physics, or we don't know what it is, caused this to happen. A slight majority of matter as a, as compared to the antimatter that was produced we don't know why this happened we don't have the answer one of the hypothetical scenarios is that possibly our universe has an antimatter counterpart so from the big bang not one universe came out but two universes came out one with more matter one with more antimatter and today you have two parallel universes that have come out of the big bang one has pure one has matter and one has antimatter and eventually when the two recombine in the future big crunch or whatever it will all go back to pure energy that's that is one hypothesis it's not a theory it's a hypothesis because it is not testable or falsifiable so we don't quite know why there is more matter than antimatter maybe some unknown uh, law of physics exists maybe some unknown mechanism caused this to happen maybe we have two universes, one with matter, one with antimatter. We don't know. This is this this is called baryon asymmetry, and this is something uh, people uh, physicists are actively trying to understand why it is so. As of today, we don't quite have the answer.